Hi, and thanks for taking the time to watch this presentation. Today we're going to be talking about the Fanville H5, for the Hospitality and Healthcare IP phone. The Fanville uh, H5 series has been basically designed for hospitality, um, the healthcare sector, and residential section, sectors. It is a fundamental basic replacement phone. It's um, so that end users can't set features and change things that will stop the phone working. Ideal for the hotels um, or just people who aren't technically minded. It's just a simple phone. It's very stylish and, con and contemporary in appearance. It's got excellent voice quality. It's got uh, a lot of functionality which I want to touch on while I'm here. And it can integrate with a wide range of, of uh, platforms, um, IPPBX or cloud-based. The Fanville H5 will basically integrate with pretty much any IP PBBX out in the market today and can actually enhance that IP um, PBX solution to um, go above and beyond what it can currently do. It has a single SIP uh, registration. It has six programmable keys. These keys can be used for such thing as room service, housekeeping, um, uh, calling reception, accessing voicemail, setting wake-up calls, etc. Uh, pretty much programmable in, in, in whatever you want to do. It has a USB port on the side of the phone uh, that's actually running down here. We'll see that later. Where you can just plug a USB um, lead into um, so you can charge your phone. It is a PoE driven phone, but if you need a power pack, it has an external um, point where you can plug a power pack into. has your indicator light here for um, uh, message, uh, messages, etc., and has a 3.5 inch screen here, LCD screen. We'll talk more about the screen, but I uh, just want to point out one thing about it. In a hotel room, naturally, an LCD screen can be bright. Um, the way the H5 works is that uh, if you pick up the phone, it goes bright. Uh, otherwise, it goes to sleep dull to the point of going right down so it's not disturbing um, a guest if it's in an actual bedroom environment. So let's give it a quick overview. Um, basically, running through the keys, we've got a hold key. For naturally for holding calls. They can set a call forward key, a redial key, a voicemail key, your four inch customizable screen. Um, basically we can change all the text etc. You can see on the screen here we have got a number of um, information about the hotel, phone numbers or that sort of thing. That uh, is all customizable um, and can be programmed um, on uh, manually or auto provisioned if you so wish. Um, we'll talk more about that in a second. Uh, we've got our programmable uh, keys here. These are like um, basically fast dial keys and we can have got the colored icons here from room service, phones, voicemail, etc. Um, just to indicate what they're, they're used for. And of course you can change them around if any way you want. want. Quite handy really because being in an LCD, LCD screen you're not doing any writing. Uh, if things change, which they do um, in a hotel, you can simply um, reprogram the phones um, to match whatever changes right down to the brand of the phone, uh, of the hotel. If we can um, have a, a brand of the hotel here, and if for any reason, for whatever reason that, that brand changes, um, we can simply reload another uh, JPEG in. We've got our numeric keys. Uh, we've got a message key there. Volume down, volume up for the handset and ringing, a USB plug for charging phones, uh, a mute key and a speaker key for um, using the speaker function. The customizable sc screens indicated uh, that this is um, an option. Um, it's all programmable via the um, via a browser, if you so wish, but the phones also auto provision. So um, they can go to a provisioning server and they will download uh, all text, all programming and um, JPEG backgrounds. But as you can see here, it's got an example here. We've got um, a company name, industry name. We could use different fonts, etc. Um, how to call um, from room to room and how to call from out for outside lines, etc. And uh, yeah, as you can see, a couple of little icons down here. Totally customizable. Need to stress this. Um, no paper involved whatsoever. That way it's actually going to look newer for longer. 
uh, paper or anything that you're labeling on a telephone even if it's laminated it starts getting a bit furry over the, a few years whereas um, it's always going to maintain the edge file is always going to maintain its clean and uh, professional appearance if we just just I've just got three examples here um, so these are just uh, JPEGs that we've made up and we can pretty much make them as anything so whatever the, the graphic is, this is the graphic that's going to be on the phone. They can be as dark, as long, as light as you want, etc. We simply customize it and load it up um, with um, the provisioning. It can be anything from a hotel, hospitality. It can be hospital information, um, what wards you're in, whatever information you want. Or if it's a if you're in a retirement village, etc., it gives information about the retirement village. And even in the retirement village, we can have these icons customized, where you can now uh, have different services within the village offered um, from a home perspective or help or whatever is, whatever is needed. If we just have a look at the uh, the back panel, we've got a, a LAN and a WAN port here so that um, we can have in and out. We can actually have registration on the WAN port and uh, we can have a run of, we can run a VLAN here if, uh, that um, can, so VLAN settable, what I'm trying to say here, and you can uh, run data etc through there if you wish or disable. We have got um, well, through this is labeled headset it's a lie it's a blank um, hand handset cord there and this is your 9 volt power pack if you sorry 5 volt power pack if you so want to um, if you don't have PoE driving the phone your basic features call out answer mute hold intercom dial voice message on server you can have hot lining hot desking um, call logs etc uh, maximum 600 records um, dial without registration, e.g. peer-to-peer, um, programmable DSSs, etc. Um, some more, just some more technical information there. Um, just pointing out to you your various different codecs you've got there, uh, right through to the G72, G722, um, half duplex, um, packet loss control, DTMF options. It's a 10100 um, bridged uh, for um, PC. Uh, what else we got here? It's um, VPN, L2TB, OpenVPN. Um, yep, so stats as, as if you wish. Okay, so the hotspot. The one of the advantages of using a fanvil in a um, whether it be a hospitality or a um, hospital or a village etc is that you have environments that you need to have multiple phones in a room so the hotspot allows the um, a Fanville phone an H5 phone to be set as a master phone and then we can have multiple other phones registering to it, that master phone um, to work with the single SIP registration e.g. we've got a phone number that's on the master phone we can register the client phones to the master phone and they can make outgoing calls which will use that same SIP registration and it will receive when incoming calls all phones will ring but you're only using one SIP registration this is an important point because with a lot of systems and voice over IP one SIP registration one phone using a fanville you solution you simply have one registration you can have multiple phones so let's just reiterate how it works how the hotspot works is that we've got a cloud etc poe switch it works across the LAN okay it's not a WAN solution it's just across the LAN so we've got say three phones in a room we are using extension 202 as the master SIP registration it's registered off to your IPBX or cloud solution and then we've got one two other phones in the room they are also extension 202 so what happens is on an incoming call when the master phone rings the other two phones will ring okay if the uh, other either any of the phones make an outgoing calls it will present it will use the SIP registration and it can make an outgoing call one call per group 
just like a, a set of series extensions. So it's perfect for the hotel type environment where you might have one, two, three, ten phones in a room and or perfect in um, just any situation in a, in a village situation where you might have a, um, a hotel, uh, sorry, a phone in the kitchen area and a phone in the bedroom area. So two phones, but again, just one sub registration. It can register to an IPBX, can register to a cloud solution, it can register to an ITPS, ITSP, e.g. a SIP trunk provider. Doesn't matter, it's um, SIP, it'll register. So in a hotel environment, we might have uh, an, a Fanville H5 phone here um, in the, the dining area here. Uh, we also got a phone H5 in the bedroom and a H2 in the bathroom. Incoming calls, all phones ring. Okay. Again, I'd just like to remind you about the display control, um, about the brightness. It's all set automatically so that it goes dull. Um, but as soon as you touch the phone, it'll actually lit up, light up again and the, um, the uh, guests can see the information. But at night when they want to sleep, they don't want something hitting the ceiling and waking them up. It's dark, so it doesn't disturb your uh, guests or um, residents. If we go for a larger environment, room environment, etc., we um, may have, and particularly in the larger uh, suites we could have up to five six phones very easily um, again no problem for the the fanville we're just using one sip registration on incoming calls all phones will ring and on outgoing calls they'll use whatever sip registration um, they use okay so there we go Okay, so that's basically the, the basic phone functions. If Now if we start talking about some of the emergency evacuations using the 8-series in a hospitality or healthcare environment, etc. The H5 phones can basically add a huge amount of value to any existing IPPBX solution that you have in your hotel currently, or if you are a reseller, that you are looking at providing as a solution. It will give an H5, Fanville H5 phone solution will give you all the functionality that you require with the IPBX, okay? But wait, there's more. We can actually start now, we can now page and make uh, emergency announcements through the H5 phones. So the situations that we are talking about is earthquake, tsunami, an evacuation alert, um, a lockdown of a building, uh, you can integrate it to the fire, um, uh, fire alarm, and or just if there's any cautions that you need to, to broadcast throughout the hotel. If you have H5 phones in your guests um, or residents rooms and an emergency kicks off, and this, I'm only suggesting emergencies here, um, that for example there's an, a lockdown scenario, something's happened in the hotel and you need to have the guests locked Lock, basically lock the door, stay out of the way. You can now broadcast at the same time through every single phone um, a message to say stay away. Let's run through some of these scenarios. Paging. It's very simplest form. We can have um, all of the phones, whether they be office, the office phones uh, we're using um, through the hotel or um, or business or um, village environment, or the hotels, we can now page through all of the phones by simply having somebody pick up a phone and dialing a button or pushing a button and now we can page through all the phones. We can actually even do um, paging groups. So we've got um, extra options here. We've got the uh, IW30s, we've got the X3 phones here, but we can also use the H5s. So at the very least, if we didn't want anything more than say wanted to make an announcement, an emergency announcement to the guests, we can hit the page, broadcast across all phones, all, we can broadcast across all phones, and we can notify um, the guests of what's going on. Okay, it would only be used in an emergency scenario, but that's option number one. We can have something a little bit more formal on the same scenario, but now we've got a fully fledged um, X210 phone with a boom mic and options to have all sorts of multi-zones multi here so we can actually either broadcast across the um, 
across the um, the business side extensions, e.g. the support extensions, and keep the uh, guest phones or off the group, or we can uh, only broadcast a guest or the whole thing if there's an emergency or scenario in the hotel. It's a little basic, it's a little bit rude of entry, but some people, that uh, some, some organizations, that's that's all they want. Okay, so, and this is independent of your IPPBX, okay? IPPX can go, offers other functions, but this is just simply standalone and it works. Where we start really playing with a bit of power here is when we add a 8301 media server. Now, this starts putting your solution on a bit more of the steroid scenario. So now we can, this is basically a standalone scheduler. Uh, we can load up uh, all sorts of media messages into it. We can manage this um, media or the media on a 24 hour clock and it can play messages. Now from a health and safety perspective for the um, the hotel phones, the office phones, etc., or the um, the loading zones, or the the back office zones, or anything like that, we can actually have reminders and and tones uh, shift shift tones, if you so wish, voice schedule reminding people that of breaks, etc. These are away from the guests or in the back office. It's playing messages. It could be in the loading zone. Uh, if you've got one that is reminding uh, people that when they're entering the road loading zone to make sure they make eye contact with the drivers before they cross behind or in front so that everybody knows what's going on to avoid health and uh, yeah, accidents. It's health and safety. So we can do tones. We can do bells, tones or voice schedules on a 24-hour environment. That can be controlled by a local on-site administrator and, and be sent set on months in advance, advance if you so wish. And basically, according to the clock, the uh, voice messages, bells or tones will play, as you so wish. We can have scheduled warning announcements. Again, these are on a 24-hour clock, and what these are doing is giving information about warning uh, things that are happening. Again, I use the example of the uh, the warehouse, but it could be down the long corridors in the, in the service basement between the kitchens and... Um, uh, room service, etc. People, if they've got some, as you all know, there's big, so there can be big carts and trays. There'd be someone loaded up with trays and dishes or laundry or whatever, and they're going down the corridors. And there could be announcements, just PA speakers playing background music, if so wish. And then every X amount of time, it plays a message here in a corridor please don't run, please be aware of people, uh, large. Um, um, carts etc moving up and down again it's health and safety it's reminding staff of what to do so these are the sort of applications you can use these for we can also set a lockdown alarm through the media now what we do there is we basically dial a code okay it can also be a, a, a button or a, a key lock now this is a lockdown alarm now essentially this is if there's an event at um, a village, a building, a business, um, or a, a hospital, or a um, hotel that requires people to be safe. Okay, we all. I won't go into great detail. I'll let your imaginations run on this. Uh, we've seen things in the past happen on the news in large um, some hotels and any area. I just don't want to go into the details of it all. But essentially, it's protection of the guests. As a staff member, it's not. There are times when you can't get around all your guests at once, and you need to get in a message immediately to the guests as much as possible to stay in their rooms, lock the doors, and don't come out. Okay. So what do you do? They pick up a, um, a uh, the phone, dial a code if you so wish, and then activate a um, an alarm. Okay. Or you press a button, or you put a key and turn a key and a lockdown message will now automatically start playing through pretty much every phone that we choose in the environment we'll call it if it's in a hotel environment it'll play through the h5 speakers if it's um, using some pa speakers where the background music is playing etc or it's around the hotel it'll start blaring this message 
through the speakers. If you've got business phones, uh, Fanville X series phones in in the um, in the business side of the area, it'll start putting the lockdown alarm through that. Okay, it's customized automated message. Okay, it can be a lockdown giving the lockdown. Um, procedure if it's just a pure business. If it's guests, you need to be telling them that it's a lockdown. You can use alert tones if you so wish and voice at the same time. You can even record in multi-language so that it is actually explaining to people what's going on. The reason this is such a good idea is that it just broadcasts immediately. It can be customized to the use of um, your business and environment and you can tell your guests, your staff, your residents, whatever you've got, lockdown. If they're not in your rooms, it'll be broadcasting through the PA um, system. I'm not saying, you, people might say, this is intrusive. This is an emergency situation we're talking about. Okay, and it's using existing equipment that we're talking about. Anything additional to your phones here is a media server. Okay, and we can talk about more about that, so contact us and have a talk about that. Okay, so that, that scenario. Next scenario is your evacuation alarm. Now, this could be basically, again, another triggered uh, event. But this one, instead of being locked down, we actually want to get them out of the building. Okay, some places they use fire alarms and all that kind of thing. This is using, it can be used in conjunction with the fire alarms. I'm not suggesting you're this be replacing the fire alarm at all, but can be used in conjunction with, and can be used for Pacific alarms, uh, uh, evacuation alarms. It could be an earthquake evacuation alarm. Okay, it could uh, so telling people, please evacuate the building. There's been an earthquake. Please evacuate the building. Please uh, use the stairs. Do not use the lifts. Okay, that can be one code. It'll play that. It could be a fire alarm, so that the fire alarm is actually just triggers the media server, and not only do the bells ring, but it also starts broadcasting through the phones. More importantly, particularly at night, it starts broadcasting um, through the, um, the guest phone, and can be in different languages. This is one of the key things about it. You just simply do a recording with three or four languages. Short, sweet and simple, but tell them the news and move them on. In scenarios where we've got resorts um, or low lie, low area areas where tsunamis can happen, earthquake happens. Now suddenly um, we've had an earthquake or we've got a tsunami warning. The office can simply dial a code or use a key to trigger off the alarm. The automated alarm goes off and it goes off across um, any PA speakers that are in the hotel, but it also goes off in the rooms, it goes off in the bar area where the phones are and the paging is, and it tells people, this is a tsunami warning, please evacuate the hotel, head towards the high ground, follow the staff instructions as you leave, and the staff can show them the way to go. It's just again another practical way, only for an alarm um, in emergency situations. Um, Informational, basically health and safety. We've talked about this. Health and safety is a big thing today in any environment. Um, it's uh, the uh, the, multi the media server here is it's a standalone. It's, it doesn't need to have a PC on all the time. It'll just run by itself and just tick over and do whatever you want to do. We use them for schools, for alarm bells. We use them for announcements, etc. We use them for health and safety environments, um, etc. Um, and it's just to remind staff, uh, particularly in, in the manufacturing areas and in industrial areas, mechanic, uh, mechanical areas, anything along those lines, um, hospitality, hotel, um, it's as simple as, you know, don't run up and down stairs. You might have a, a message that goes off for uh, the paging that's sitting in the, in the stairwells. Just don't, you know, please, you know, walk up and down, be courteous to others, blah, 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 blah. Away you go. Manufacturing, it could say something along the lines of, um, uh, be aware of the safety cages and follow safety procedures, etc. Okay, so health and safety announcements, and it'll do all of these combinations. It, it, it doesn't isn't limited to any one of them, and you don't need multiple servers to make this happen. One server will do it. One server will do it all. Okay, that's on 24 hours as well. Again, more information. Okay, so evacuation in a building. Okay, so we can have rooms, etc., where the announcement has been triggered off. We're using a server here, and the announcement goes to evacuate, and they can evacuate. 
at the same time we can actually also use it in other office environments etc um, we can use it through the phones in this environment here in this area here this is more open commercial shopping etc we decided to use the speakers so again it's an evacuation lockdown hospitality whatever you want to do information background music it'll do it all with a little user little server um, so we've got that scenario we've also got uh, security intercom right down in the car parks by the front doors for getting into apartments whatever so that's quite handy because if anybody comes up to the front door and there's actually an evacuation or a lockdown scenario the actual door will tell people what's going on don't enter the building uh, the, uh, it's in, or the building is in lockdown or the building is having is in fire alarm whatever so um, it's quite flexible okay I hope that has helped um, you um, a little bit from the uh, the Fanville H5 the hand, Fanville H5 is just a phone as you can see but it's, um, it's a, an attractive uh, well-designed phone can be fully customized to your um, particular needs it can be fully programmed will work with pretty much any IPPBX at all um, it's got full paging etc across it full customization of the um, screens and you can also have enhanced um, announcements etc emergency evacuations lockdown information tsunami warnings etc all going through the phone independent of whatever IP PBX you have um, it will simply add that functionality on top of it so I'm hoping this helped uh, helped you out if you have any questions feel free to go to any of our websites everly.co.nz fanville.co.nz drop us an email at sales at everly.co.nz if you have any queries questions um